Man, what it do, Shabbata? It's fair use and they caboose, Bo Man. All praise to our Creator for the breath, for the breath, for the breath we take. Man, y'all ever check out this, uh, you know, crazy Disney stuff, man? I need you to know it's a silent weapon for a quiet Talking world. about subliminal messages and hidden images in Disney films, it's the most infamous is the uh, penis-shaped tower on the VHS cover of The Little Mermaid. But I'll bet you didn't see the other cock hidden on that box. Guess what? It's on the crab. And people will tell you the priest in The Little Mermaid, he had a boner. But how did everyone miss Dumbo's dick? Damn. You know, the Lion King, you know, it spells sex in the sky. You know, that's debatable. But check out just a few frames later. You know, is that debatable? And you know, there's no two ways about it. Disney's hiding dicks in their flicks. And most people don't catch them. It's very subtle the way they sneak them in. And in every single Disney movie, I'm finding dicks. You know, Peter Pan, 101 Dalmatians. Uh, the Fox and the Hound, more like three cocks on the ground. And you have to wonder who's drawing all these. I was an uh, animator at Disney for a lot of years. Dickhead animator. I was in charge of drawing the top part of the dicks. My first gig was a uh, Tarzan animated feature. So I'm sitting there one day and the boss comes in and he says, uh, he says, hey, I need you to draw something for me. I said, what do you need me to draw? He says, uh, Tarzan's dick. And I said, what? I need you to draw Tarzan's dick for me. I said, you know, that's not my job. Is it play play? Now, you probably missed this. You got your kids. You don't even know what's going on. But I'm trying to tell y'all, it's quiet weapons. Silent weapons for quiet war. When they get this shit in your children's head, this is a violation. It's not funny, man. You don't see me over here just cracking jokes and shit. I'm just this, this is this is real spill. This is a violation. It's a subconscious violation. It's the you know what I'm saying overload of this sex. It's an overload of violence. It's an overload. We we already know what we get in the media. We already know with these images, but we gotta pay attention to the silent weapon for quiet war. He says, uh, I don't care. That's your job now, or else you don't have a job. I still don't know why to this day they want me to draw dicks, but uh, I guess. You know, my going process. You know, so long as there's dicks in Disney movies, <coughs> I'm gonna find them. Yeah, you know, I'm not gonna stop until I've seen every dick. <laughs> Is it play play? Pay attention, man. Is it play play? Silent weapon, quiet war. Silent weapon, quiet war.
damn silent weapon for quiet war. It's war on your children, it's war on you, it's a violation. This is a frequency war, people. This ain't no uh, play play. Damn. So what do you get, man? I mean, what what happens when your children, you know what I'm saying, are watching this for half an hour, an hour, or whatever Disney movie? You know if they do it, then you already know what they do it now, man. You, this is just a glimpse of the subliminal attack on our children, man. Click the link below so you can get the drop on the silent weapon for quiet war. I don't want to jump right into it. This is the silent weapon for a quiet war. PDF is connected to the O. You know, behold a pale horse. William Cooper dropped as well. Rex 84. All that shit is connected, man. It's all energy, frequency, vibration. Let's just get a piece of it. It's all about the diversion. The diversion. Let's go back. Oh, uh, yeah. The diversion. Yeah, let me start right here, man. Diversion, the primary strategy. The experience. The experience has prevent or is presenting uh, that this simplest method, the simplest method of securing a silent weapon. The simplest method of securing a silent weapon and gaining control of the public is to keep the public undisciplined and ignorant of the basic system principles on the one hand. So you're just undisciplined, meaning that you have no order. Your order, your con is taken away, right? The copper color con is taken away, right? The con is taken. When the con is taken... There's no order. When there's no order, you are undisciplined and ignorant of the basic system principles. While keeping them confused, disorganized, and distracted while with matters of no, of no real importance. <laughs> All the blacks got to sports and entertainment. Who told you that? Didn't Jay-Z say something like that? All us blacks got to sports and entertainment. Until we famous. Man, look, man. No real importance. So we're distracted by something like money. Moneta. Moneta Juno. You look up my money, you get this Moneta, man. Love to the drop, drop chatter. Dropping all that real drop every day, man. We learn so much together. And Moneta Juno is, is, is the long version. Then you call it money. But you're just talking a Roman goddess. Name Moneta Juno, so you're asking for more money. You want more of this goddess, this energy, this spell. No real importance. Everything's around this goddess. You forgot what life like. You forgot your life before Moneta Juno. You forgot your life before this goddess. Now you have no real importance. They've substituted your concrete for abstract. It's an energy war. Quiet war. Quiet weapons. This is achieved by disengaging their minds, sabotaging, disengaging. What happens, man? You are disconnected from anything that matters, which means that whatever your mind is on these days, you know, going to work, doing this, money, this, da da da, sports, that, this, this, this is coming up, this holiday, 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 Valentine's Day, what's next? disengage their minds with what distractions sabotaging their mental activities providing a low quality program of public education <coughs> man so you know we're talking about the negro we know we're talking about the naga remember they have got you undisciplined right 
I mean, damn. Let us not forget and let us be reminded because repetition breaks the spell that you are the American Negro. A native of American Negro. You were here so much that the definition of an American originally applied to the aboriginals or in case you still don't get it, copper color Nagas. So you are the Khan dynasty. The Khan, the priesthood. And they took your Khan. Now you're African American. What happened to the Amaru Khan? Someone is calling themselves Americans. But C-A-N does not say Ken. It's Khan. So when they take your con, they took your priesthood. So it's the copper color races found here by the so-called European. But now applied, boss, to the descendants of the Europeans of the invasion. Now they have your con. Con, let go. I mean, we're just talking silent weapons. Silent weapons. Silent weapons for quiet war undisciplined you have no more con you have no more order you are undisciplined and ignorant of the basic system of principles what principles law now they got to substitute law by disengaging your minds sabotaging your mental activities and providing low quality public education negro Energy war on you. Silent weapon. Quiet war. Engaging their emotions. Now let's get to all these uh, dick drawings and stuff. Let's go. Engaging their emotions. So what do they do with all these sexual drawings in your subconscious, in the child's subconscious? Engaging their emotions. Engaging their emotions, increasing their self-indulgence and their indulgence in physical activities. Let's go. Unrelenting emotional affrontations and attacks. Mental and emotional rape. They are raping the minds of our children. Disney, this, that, all these motherfuckers, man. All these motherfuckers, man. You have to be aware that it's a frequency war. It's written out, man. Silent weapons, quiet war. Sports, entertainment, cartoons, entertainment, engaging their minds, their emotions, self-indulgence, emotional, emotional attacks, mental rape, mental Rape, mental and emotional rape. Does it say physical? Does it say physical? So if you're getting mentally and emotionally raped every day, can you go to the police and say, man, I'm being mentally raped, man. My children are being mentally raped by these cartoons. See, here's the proof. What will happen? How do they mentally rape our children? How are we being mentally raped from birth? By way of constant barrage of sex.
motherfucking question. This is an art form. What did that dude say? What did the anonymous dude say? The anonymous Tarzan drawer? What did he say? He says, uh, I don't care. That's your job now. Or else you don't have a job. He was blackmailed. Does it look like he's fucking with you? I don't think so. I don't think so. Not when we got the substantiating source breaking down the mental and emotional rape. Constant barrage of sex, violence, war in the media, especially the TV and the newspapers, giving them what they desire in excess, junk food for thought, and depriving them of what they really need. What do you really need? Peace. You need your trees. You forgot how to think, man. How else do they disengage our emotions? How else do they keep us confused, disorganized, and distracted with matters of no real importance? How else, man? How else do they achieve this? By rewriting history. Play play, man. Y'all just be thinking this is play play. By rewriting history, man. I mean, I'm sure we got something on that. I'm sure we kind of been talking about them rewriting our history. How they rewritten your history. How they got you disengaged by pushing your history back in time. By telling you about these Hicksos and the BCs. Hyksos in the B.C.'s, what? In the 6th century A.D. But what kind of relationship do they have to the Hyksos? This is from the medieval empire of the Israelites. Get it out the library. What relationship do these Hyksos, what do they have with the Hyksos who supposedly attacked Egypt in 1786 B.C., right? Rewriting history. The most straightforward seems strange in our opinion. Of course, we're just waking up. Lay it on us. Everything that is ascribed to the Hyksos. We're talking the shepherd kings in Egypt and all the dynasties, right? Everything, everything that is ascribed to the Hyksos, as a matter of fact, occurred in the early Middle Ages. Was that 800, 900, 1100 A.D.? Hyksos, Shepherd Kings, Vikings. Uh-oh, who was Preston John? And then was replicated phantoms and duplicates broadly by the efforts of Scaligarian historians, man, and sent off into antiquity. So the Scaligarian historians replicated the history of the early Middle Ages. And you're reading about the Hyksos way back in 17 something, something, something B.C.? But it really happened in the uh, 1100s or the Middle Ages, man? In the A.D. 